Merry Christmas everyone! Welcome to Cloud Dolls! It's me, Claudia. This time, I'm coming with project. It's a Christmas flower. She's known as Pusentia, and she's native of the Central America in Mexico. Plants association with Christmas began in the 6th century in Mexico. For this project, I'm going to use Claudine from Monster High. As usual, I'm going to cut the hair I'm taking the factory makeup with 100% acetone. After taking the hair off, and I will remove the hair from the inside her neck hole. I'm gonna cut the ears, I don't need them. And I also have a box with uh, pieces of dolls, like arms, hands, and ears. I'm going to use white Pusentia, a red Pusentia. I pick up a big red flower and then I construct around it with hot glue, with leaves and with other flowers that you use in the Christmas. Why they are considered the official Christmas flowers anyway? There's a legend that says that a young girl named Pepita was said that she didn't have a gift to leave from the baby's Jesus at Christmas Eve services. Her cousin tried to comfort her and say that Jesus would love any present from her, even the smallest one, with no money to buy a real gift. Pepita picked a bouquet of weeds that she walked past on the way to the church. When she got there, she left the weeds at the bottom of the nativity scene. All of a sudden, the weeds transform into a beautiful red flowers. This is why Christmas colors are red and green. And they are actually color leaves. I have this sticker fabric ready with glue. It doesn't want to open up. He have his own life, but I did it. And then you just glue it on it. Put a little bit of uh, super glue to make it more strong and you can plug it on top of it. It will protect the hole in the head of the doll. After that I um, take the flowers off and I cover the other hole also with fabric because I'm gonna plug her hair with yarn. I'm gonna use a grey one and my plug tool. Pocentius are popular Christmas decorations. I'm also using this shiny yarn with uh, glitters. What kind of flowers do you use in the Christmas? I also use Pocentius in my table. I think they're really beautiful. After the hair is plucked, I have to put some glue to fix the hair inside of her head. That's why I put the fabric in the other wall. Other way, the glue will come out and we don't want that. So I make sure that all of the yarn on the head of the doll. I use four layers of Mr. Super Clear and then I start sketching the eyes with a light color, the white for the sclera. Don't forget they have to be really sharp. I decided to give her green eyes because this is the color of Christmas, red and green. And I continue to build layers. In the United States, December 12th is National Pusenti Day, marking the anniversary of Joel Robert Pusenti's death. I give it another layer of Mr. Super Clear and you let it dry for 30 minutes. You can find the list of my material in the description box below. I give it the two marks in the face. 
and also the little heart in the cheek under the eye. I give more blush to her face. I found out that makeup brushes they work better in the in the dry pastels. And then I seal all my work with the last layer of Mr. Super Clear. Now I come in and I give her a metallic silver eyeshadow and glossy glitters in her mouth. Also silver color and a little bit in the eyes to shine. I give her panties with a white stretch leather fabric. I'm making her lace with a red stone and with a white satin ribbon. I sew it to the panties. See it? Cute. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe, please. Like and share. For the skirt, I'm gonna use this white tool. I'm gonna cut it in top of it for the waist of the doll. Then I'm gonna sew it by hand and put an elastic on it. I'm gonna make it a ruffle. I'm gonna finish the skirt with a ribbon, silver stones, that they have glue on it already, and I'm just gluing it around the skirt on top of the lace. See it? It's really delicate. With this grey satin ribbon, large one, I'm gonna give her lace and I'm also gonna give her a flower arrangement for her waist. I attach also a white ribbon to give it more uh, catch eye. And then I start sewing the flowers around it. They were cultivated by the Aztecs for use in the traditional medicine. What you're gonna do this Christmas? It's a very difficult year. This year I'm gonna spend it with my youngest daughter and my husband, just the three of us. The flower arrangement for the waist is ready. Now I'm gonna make her a corporate with a paper mache technique. I'm gonna leave her to dry for the night. The other day I come and I use again my tissue with a glue to give it more structure and I think it's easier than to cover it with the other tissue. I draw the way I want the carpet and then I cut it. The Poissantia was first described by Europeans in 1834. She was found by Joel Robert Poissant, first minister to Mexico, who is in credit with the introduction of the plant in the United States in the 19th century. Now I'm gonna glue my uh, gray satin ribbon around it to finish. That's why I put the other fabric and then I will glue it with some clips and I leave it to dry to the night to hold them in shape. The other day I come back and I finish them with the same stones ribbon that I used for the skirt. Out of camera I finished the corpet in the back side as you can see with the right ribbon to close it. Now I'm using my silver acrylic paint to give it the final touches. It was the first time I make a carpet like this. This doll was the first time for a lot of things for me and I'm really proud of it and he turned out really beautiful. I also put it grey ribbon, the same satin ribbon in the inside and this time I'm gonna also try something new. 
that I'm going to make them the crystal shoes with hot glue. I protect the foot of my doll and now I'm just putting hot glue on top of it and making the shape. I'm using the top of the, of the gun that is hot to give him some shape and let it dry between the layers to achieve the shape that I wanted. And that's how they're starting to look like. I'm just using the heart of the gun to make it more smooth. It turned out really well. I'm happy with them. That's the are. And now I'm gonna use my exact knife and I'm trying and I'm gonna cut it out and trim it. I'm also sanding them to make them more smooth. I'm gonna finish them with the silver acryl and with the nail polish. For the base, I'm going to use this piece of wood, I'm making a hole and I'm going to glue a barbecue stick on it. And for the upper side, for the doll, I'm going to use my wired 1.2mm, I'm just twisting him around the barbecue stick, don't forget to try it on the, the doll to put the doll on it to see if it's good, if it stays. It's always a problem for me to find supports for the dolls that I made because normally I buy dolls in second hand and most of them they don't come with a, with a support so it's very difficult but now I found this base by Pipus in Rotterdam. I'm painting him with my red acrylic paint Panduru Obi and now I'm gonna finish him with my sticker fabric I told you about I'm gonna start to decorate him with some leaves and flowers really Christmas And it's turning out really beautiful. And he's ready. My doll is ready. I make her the socks. Then I'm gonna finish in the top with the same crystals. Ribbon. It's time for the glitters. And with my hair straightener, I'm gonna make my metal stick warm and I'm gonna give her curly baby hair. High lashes. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. It's a small step for you, but it's a big step for me. It helps with my heart so that I can continue to make my dolls. And you can find my dolls on my Etsy shop. And you can follow me also in Instagram and Facebook. And my doll is ready. She's beautiful. I'm gonna call her Petita, like the little girl in the legend. I wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year 2021 with a lot of healthy and with a lot of dreams, with a lot of joy.
Bye. I see you next year. Now, I'm gonna stay with my dolls. <laughs>